Pit stops are one of the most crucial parts to a Formula 1 race. Pit stops can make or break a driver's race, and when teams get it right, it's magical. Sadly, when it goes wrong, it can go very wrong. Oh no! Oh no! They Kimi Raikkonen out and has hit one of the mechanics. There are over 20 mechanics involved in a pit stop, with each of them having a crucial role. They are all mechanics in their own right though, working on the cars during the weekend when they're not in the pit crew. Every wheel needs a gunner. The gunner's role is to loosen the nut that holds the wheel, and of course to tighten that nut to the new wheel. They do this by operating a pneumatic wheel gun. This gun is not the sort you're going to find at your local garage though. It spins at more than 10,000 revolutions per minute, and even though there are only four wheels on the car, there are usually eight guns available just in case one fails on any of the wheels. And not only do you see failures from time to time, but on occasion there can be a race-ending issue where the wheel nut simply won't come off. Bottas in Monaco was a prime example where the wheel gun actually grinded down the nut and Bottas had to retire the car. In fact, by the time the wheel actually came off the car, it was some 43 hours later, technically making it the slowest pit stop in history. Alongside the wheel gunner are two other mechanics. These mechanics are responsible for removing the old tire and putting the new one on. This is something they train for and you can't underestimate how heavy those tires can be. But nothing can truly prepare you for a real pit stop when the car is coming at you at full speed. Any mistake on any of the wheels slows the entire pit stop down. This position can be further complicated if teams decide to double stack their cars. This means that they pit both their cars right after each other because there's only one pit crew for every team. This means they have to have eight tires available and not only do they have to make sure that they're doing the pit stop efficiently, they have to make sure they're putting the correct tire on the correct car. It's one of the hardest things for a pit crew to do. Then arguably the most dangerous role of the pit crew is the front jackman. The job of this mechanic is to stand in the firing line of the car and as soon as the car stops, push the jack underneath and lift. There are so many issues over the years of cars not stopping and hitting the front jackman. It doesn't happen as often anymore, but this mechanic is putting a lot of trust in the driver to stop, especially in wet conditions. Of course, the car needs to be lifted from both sides to complete the pit stop, so there is another jack person at the rear of the car. They need to stand off to the side a little bit, obviously, to wait for the car to pass, and then they can quickly move in and insert the jack pretty much under the rain light of the car. There are also usually two crew members that are on either side of the car midway down. These days, they hold on to the halo, and if you're wondering what they do, they're simply there to steady the car and keep it as stable as possible during the pit stop. It's more precautionary than anything else. There are also two crew members who have the job of making front wing adjustments. The front wing is one of the things that could be changed during the stops to alter the car's balance. This is very common during the race as the cars get lighter, conditions change, and fresher tires are put on. Drivers often want more or less front wing to compensate for that, and there's crew members there to do it. Then there are two extra crew members watching over the pit stop, one at the front and one off to the side near the garage itself. Their job is to oversee the stop and ensure nothing has gone wrong. They have final say if the pit stop goes green and releases the driver, with either of them having the ability to overrule the automatic system if they see something has gone wrong. The gantry system replaces what used to be a lollipop man or person, they would stand at the front of the car and they would tell the driver when it was safe to release, turning over their lollipop. Those days are pretty much gone though, with an automated system now with a light above the car. When that light goes green, the driver is off, and often during a pit stop, time is of the essence. And if it goes wrong and it's green when it shouldn't be, there are going to be some big issues. And over the years, there have been, leading the FIA to restrict just how automated the system was getting for a lot of teams. The fastest pit stop recorded was actually last year at the Qatar Grand Prix by McLaren, 1.8 seconds, beating the already incredibly fast Red Bull pit stop, which was 1.82. Overall though, Red Bull are arguably the most consistent team over the course of a season with some of the fastest and most reliable pit stops. They very rarely have an issue with one of their cars. In fact, Red Bull like to show off just how good they are with their pit stops. They recently did a pit stop in complete darkness, managing a stop of 2.8 seconds. Unironically, that's probably faster than the Mercedes crew when they can actually see. Red Bull even tried to replicate a pit stop in space, achieving a stop in zero gravity. They just like to show off. And there we have it, pit stops in a nutshell. 
If you're new to Formula One and you want to get the lowdown, I've got a complete guide on everything you need to know to get you up to speed. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.